William Shakespeare is decidedly the most famous playwright of all time. So can you imagine being one of his contemporaries, basically trying to compete with the bard? That's part of the premise of Something Rotten. It is, and welcome performers Maggie Lakis and Rob McClure to tell us more about this. Good to see you guys. Welcome to Omaha. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you. Thanks for having yeah, me. You had a nice little introduction last night with severe weather. As <laughs> you're, trying to, <laughs> you're trying to put on this production. Yes. How was it last night? It was great. It was great. Really? I mean, in, inside the theater, you can tell anything was going around outside. No, no. Yeah. And I, was get, I actually got a little emotional last night because you, you get to certain cities and the um, the amount of excitement people have you can feel that they can't they've been waiting yes for this yes. show they've had their tickets they can't wait and uh, so last night it was really oh, I mean they were such so ready crowd. to laugh yeah, it was and, wonderful and uh, we, we love it we love going around the country making people laugh that's great well thank you thanks for coming to Omaha uh, set the story up for us something rotten what's this all about because we mentioned Shakespeare yeah it's basically two guys competing yes. against Shakespeare yes and and what we want people to know more than anything is that it's funny that mm -hmm. the whole like period Renaissance 1590 Shakespeare thing is to be taken with a grain singing? of salt. Yeah, there's it has no a very right, modern right. sense of humor and a modern sensibility to Exactly. It. It's from the creators of Book of Mormon and Aladdin. So well, and that they doesn't know, give you a hint. They know fun. <laughs> they know fun. They, they, they know fun. Um, but yeah, so I play Nick Bottom, who is one of the competing playwrights with Shakespeare. And uh, I'm trying to write the next big thing. So I go to a soothsayer to find out what the future of the theater will be. Mm -hmm. And he informs me that it's musical. So me and my brother uh, set out to write the world's first musical. And Maggie plays my wife. Yeah, I play his wife, B, and uh, I can tell that there, he's having some trouble, but he's not wanting to communicate with me. <laughs> oh, so that's on that. <laughs> so it's kind of, we kind of have a, a little bit of a push and pull in how to, how to get him to let me help him and let me be a, his partner, so I kind of have to go by, behind his back and force yeah. Force him to let me help him. Yeah, but as you can see, it's a, it's a big, splashy oh, Broadway fun, show. Yeah. And yeah. it's new. It's not an adaptation. It's uh, not a, a um, revival. It's just a brand new show. But it has everything that you'd want in a musical. It has great production numbers, great dancing, beautiful costumes and sets. Yeah. And it's only been around time. for a couple of years. 2015, I mm -hmm. think. But That's right. I think yeah. they, they tried to... Uh, it was an off-Broadway production. They were going to do it in Seattle, but then they went right to Broadway. That's right. right? Yeah, they that, skipped do you know it. the history behind that? How's yeah, that so they, most shows do an out-of-town tryout. Yeah. Um, and uh, they did a workshop in New York for the investors, and after that workshop, they went, this is ready. Mm -hmm. And they went straight to Broadway. I was lucky enough to do the last year mm -hmm. before we mm -hmm. went out on the road. Um, and uh, it, we were so excited when the show closed on Broadway January 1st. We headed out on the road January 2nd. Yeah, right away. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and cause we knew that people want to laugh. Mm -hmm. You know, especially yeah. right now, people want to turn off their phones and just sit and giggle for two and a half hours, and they do. I mean, we and because it's new, people don't know what to expect, so right. they're yeah. pleasantly surprised by you know, by the show. We're lucky; there are two big numbers in the show that get standing ovations sometimes mid-show, wow. which is like hey, we we, we we don't know what to do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like, okay, yeah. we're done. Yes, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. But uh, we're having a blast. Yes, yeah. we are. Um, you two play a married couple on stage. Yes. It's not much of a. You're married in real life. Yes. <laughs> oh, I didn't even know that. Really? Yes. You guys are married? Yeah. yeah. Isn't that awesome? Makes it easier. Yeah. <laughs> how, did, how did you meet and what is, what is it like to tour together? Well, uh, we met doing a production of Grease, um, uh, Duty and Frenchie. 12, oh. 12, 12 years ago. 12 right. years ago. And yeah, we've yeah. been very lucky that we've gotten to work together five times. That's actually kind of a rare thing. Yeah. Um, but we like working together. I mean, and, and with touring, it makes it so easy because. Um, you don't have to like leave your life behind yeah, and trying right. to find a way and to. Here you are together. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. us. That's <laughs> us. And and it's so fun to get to watch her, you know, to get to watch each other on stage right. because you know you get used to seeing each other in your day to day, and then all of a sudden your your partner's like singing their face off, and the audience is going crazy. Yeah. You're like, right. babe, you're you awesome. Have to be so proud of <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right? That, that's my wife. Exactly. exactly. What, a, what a great time. You got, so you're traveling around the country. No yeah. kids, though, right? Yeah, no, no kids. No cat. cat with us. Our cat cat comes oh, you bring the cat? The cat's been more places. Than most the people. Cat today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where is the cat? The cat's She's left out. Watching at home. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's, exactly. let's get back to something right. Okay, yeah. so okay, so you did the last year on yes, Broadway. Yeah. So how was that transition from taking the show from Broadway to touring nationally? You know, the show is uh, has a lot of references in it to musicals and Shakespeare. So the uh, you do think to yourself, oh gosh, is this going to be sort of inside and accessible mm -hmm. to the rest of the country? And what we've learned is that it is so universal. The show is so universal. People. People are laughing at every joke, every reference, and the great thing about it is if you love musicals and you love Shakespeare, you love the show, but we're finding out that if you hate musicals and you hate Shakespeare. Oh, yeah, we have people like 
people tell us like, oh, my wife drugged me here tonight. I hate musicals, but yeah. this was great. <laughs> yeah, because we lovingly it, make fun of it just right, as much yeah. as yeah, we so celebrate. So it's the comedy. Is the comedy yes, that people are, the, are grasping? Yeah, yeah. And I think anybody can relate to a story about trying to be the best in your field and having somebody who you sort of uh, drives you crazy mm -hmm. in the field. And, and in our show, Shakespeare is sort of like portrayed as a rock star. He's uh, uh, played by Adam Pascal from Rent mm -hmm. fame. Okay. Um, so he quite literally is a rock star. It's like he's Freddie Mercury or David Bowie or something, and he drives my character crazy. And <laughs> I, the first time I come out and tell the audience how much I hate Shakespeare, I can feel many of the drug husbands going like, me yes. too, man, yes. <laughs> me too. <laughs> um, <laughs> some Nebraska connections here as well, which has to be fun coming here. Your understudy is from here. So yes. are oh, they yeah. kind of filling you in on, on yeah. what to expect oh, yeah. here That's as well? That's exactly right. We, uh, Daniel Beeman and Con O'Shea Creel, uh, they're both Nebraska natives yeah. and they've been our tour guides. So, like you have to eat here, you have to go yeah, here. They, have he, to, yeah. like, uh, uh, Daniel Beeman gave us like a printout of all the things yeah. that we need you to gotta do, do in the area. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you're here until Sunday. Here until mm -hmm. Sunday yeah. at the Orpheum Theater downtown. and uh, we. Love getting out and about and seeing everything in each city. Yeah, That's the best part about to touring. It's on that list, right? Yeah, the zoo's oh, on absolutely. the list. <laughs> uh, something rotten tonight and tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Rosalie, are there tickets available for all these shows still? So there is availability. So all you got to do is go to omahaperformingarts.org, visit their website, or ticketomaha.com uh, to get your tickets for something rotten. Thanks That's for coming. Right. Next up, what's the cat's name? Nico. 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 We'll bring Nico. Shout out Nico. to Nico. Nico. Is Nico watching right now? Yeah. I'm sure he is. I'm sure he is. Thanks for coming and good it's luck. Our good pleasure. luck in Omaha. Good to see you guys. All right.